Good morning everyone. I just wanted to show you what I'm having for breakfast today uh, to get my video started. I am actually having, now it looks really weird, <laughs> I'm having kiwi, apple, fresh pineapple, kale, um, let's see here, I think I said apple, and I'm having an orange, a small little, uh, what do you call it? those oranges, um, oh it just went out of my mind. Halo. There you go. Sorry about that. I'm having a little bit of oats. I'm having uh, some milled flaxseed or mulled flaxseed. Milled it is. I'm having some chia seeds. Water. Oh, banana. I don't think I said that. And that is my breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and mix that up and then I've got a video for you coming up. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And what I put in mine is I put crushed ice out of my refrigerator. And just so you know, when I put the kiwi in, all I do is wash the kiwi, leave the skin on, cut it up, and put it right in there. Also with apples, I do not take the, the peels off. And they were also in the freezer. They were cut up ones that I didn't eat for my snack, so I just threw them in the freezer. Cut them up to, into smaller chunks and threw them right in. It doesn't even hurt if you eat the seeds because they're all chopped up. It's not going to be bad for your digestion. Well, hello everyone. And welcome back to my channel. I am on a whole new journey. If you haven't seen some of my previous videos, I am on the journey to becoming vegan. And I've got to tell you, so far it has been the best thing, best decision that I have ever made in my entire life. And let me tell you why. And this video, I'm going to focus more on the health aspects. And then I want to do other videos on other topics. If you don't all know, I have joined a group called Transformation Thursday, started by Miss Melody over at Transforming Melody and Rhonda at Spanky Cola. We have a bunch of lovely ladies that have joined. Um, we're getting more and more each week. Welcome to them. And this Thursday, I'll have that video up as well. During this transformation that I officially started in January, January 21st to be exact, is where I actually had the aha moment where I just said enough is enough. Now let me get into the health part. Um, I had at that point before I started this journey got to a very extreme low in my life. Um, I have had that happen in the past. To be quite honest with you for about 24 years since the birth of my first child and I am not blaming him by any means. I did get an infection in the hospital when I had him. I was in there for seven days with a natural childbirth. And ever since then, my health has uh, declined. And I was put on so many medications throughout the year that I couldn't even tell you how many. And right now, I can honestly say that I have stopped all my medications. And unfortunately, this is not through a medical doctor. I just decided that enough was enough. Every time I went to the doctors, all they wanted to do was write a script, and I know that's their job, but instead of getting into the heart of the problem, or the root of the problem, I should say, um, I was given medications. If you haven't watched some of my videos, you may have heard that I have had um, you know, many health problems, ranging from fibromyalgia, anxiety, depression, um, chronic fatigue syndrome. I have had um, cardiac, some issues with cardiac. I've had back issues, um, things that require surgery, or so they say. I've had, you know, physical therapy. Um, just to push it forward so this video isn't extremely long. My days were spent, um, you know, even though I work 40 hours a week, Instead of coming home and doing things or doing things before work, my days were on the couch. That is not living, that is existing. My husband would come home and he would see me sleeping and on the couch all the time. And I am not lying. Um, that's where I spent my, my life. 
and it wasn't a life. I'm going to do this without getting emotional, guys. So, <clears throat> sorry. It took a lot to get to the point of realizing. Now, when I would go to the doctors, okay, I had been admitted to the hospital a few times for some cardiac issues. And um, the one time I went, they said that it was also chronic fatigue syndrome. I couldn't understand why I had no energy at all. And like I could barely even move on the couch. I would be laying there and my body would feel as if it was a dead weight. I don't know if I could do this, guys, without getting emotional. So, okay. So my body would feel like it was way heavier than what it was. I felt paralyzed. And what I mean by that is mentally, physically exhausted. So I got to a point where... Um, you know, I went to a specialist. They would come up with all kinds of weird things. I mean, I've diagnosed, been diagnosed with so many things that are just out there, you know. I'm supposed to be on a CPAP machine. Um, I had, you know, tests done. I was not breathing 50 times a night, you know, which is really bad. Um, I'm supposed to be on a inhaler. Uh I'm on all kinds of medication. I, like I said, I was due for to have surgery done. I was going to physical therapy um, three times a week. I was on disability for a short time out of work. And I went back to work and then I had to slow down my physical therapy to like one time a day. I've also gone to pain management, guys. And I'll be honest with you. Um, they prescribed a very, very powerful pain medication. And I couldn't take it because it just it really... Um, made me extremely ill. And one of the pain medications that I was taking at one time, I had to take a medicine to counteract the nausea. So I was taking a medication to feel better and then taking another medication so that I wasn't vomiting. It made no sense. So, you know, they put me on all these medications. And then to move it up even further, um, I was on anti-inflammatory medication, which does help, and I'm not gonna lie. But I also have a dairy uh, allergy that was shown in a blood test. And their solution for that was to get shots. Well, the common sense thing to me would be to cut out the dairy. Um, you know, it's that simple. Why should I go and get injections? Um, and the place that I was gonna get them was about 40 minute drive. That made no sense. And I refused to do it. So, Okay, I was going to get the injections. I was, um, I seen a back specialist and they recommended surgery. And I told them that I wanted to try pain management and try physical therapy for three months before I got that done. Well, I ended up doing that. And to make a long story short, which I'm sorry, my health insurance, my copay for the physical therapy is $20 each time. Well, I don't have the money to be paying $20 each time for somebody to tell me to exercise. I think that a lot of it has to do with the way that you're eating. And let me tell you why I, I to totally believe that. And I was talking to another YouTuber. Her name is, I think, Anita Ra. So if you're watching Anita, thank you for your support. Um, she, she has gone vegan and um, vegetarian. Uh, she has improved her health tremendously too. So she's inspiring as well. I have stopped, like I said, all my medications. And let me show you what I was organizing my medications in. That's how sickening this is. This is my organizer for medication, guys. This should not be for medication. This should be for something else. That's ridiculous. If I took every medicine, medication that I have prescribed to me right now, I would probably not be talking to you on this camera. I probably would be dead. Um... So, I've decided that my life, I am going to be 45 this summer, and my children have moved out and moved on, and 
as I've said in the past, they are truly my inspiration. They are my, they're my heart and soul, and I would do anything for them. They push me in ways that you wouldn't know. Um, just motivating, extremely motivating. So I've decided that I am going to take control of my life for once instead of being unhappy. I have wasted way too much time being unhappy, unhealthy. I've wasted my life, about 24 years worth. Nothing to do with my child, just with myself, my health and everything else. I had a car accident before that, a really bad one. And ever since really then, you know, it's gone downhill. So my, my plan and my goal, and it's already working, is to exercise every day if possible. I have pushed myself in ways that I didn't think that I could do. I am now doing jogging, well sprints I should say. Like we'll pick a point and say we need to run to that point. Um, yes, I am extremely sore. I went yesterday and I did something to my sciatic nerve. And, but I'm still gonna go for a walk today. I'm just not going to jog. That's all you have to do is just adjust it to the way that you're feeling. If you're feeling extra spunky, then go for a run. If you're feeling, you know, really sore, just go for a walk. You don't even have to do a three, I did 3.3 miles, 3.33 miles the other day. And that was before going to work full time uh, for eight hours. That was extremely a proud moment. I have said in other videos as well that I find myself sometimes going for a walk and just bawling my eyes out. It's the best therapy you can ask for. I'm off my anxiety medication. I'm off my depression medication. I'm off my blood pressure medication. I am not on my CPAP machine. I am not on an inhaler. I am not on any pain medications. I'm not on an anti-inflammatory. What I choose to do and what I think is truly helping me is my juicing in the morning. I know it's not completely juicing like with a juicer to the Nutribullet, but eating these fresh vegetables and fruits, I've seen an energy that I cannot even explain. Even if you did it one time, I do it at least two or three times a day. My husband, I've seen such an improvement in him. We are going for walks together. We are jogging together. We have not done this. We've been together for, we started dating in 1986. We've never done that. The only thing we've ever done is maybe go for a walk to take the dogs like down the road. And that was it. We have never gone on three miles together. Um, we've never jogged. I haven't jogged. I have not jogged since high school. I cannot jog far, but I am doing it. And I'm losing weight. That's a big plus right there. You know, and I'm feeling so much healthier. I'm feeling happy. People at work are commenting and saying, and it's not just because of the weight, but they're like, you're a whole different person. Guys, I was signed up with my doctor and all I had to say was the word. He was going to put me on disability, meaning I would never work again. I don't think I could do that. Um, I love my job. It keeps me going. Um, I love the people I work with. I love meeting new people. I work in like a customer, you know, reactive field, healthcare, and I love it. If I ever didn't have that job, yes, I'd find another job. But if I can make people happy, that is my goal. Same with YouTube. If I can help just one person out there listening to this right now, and you're feeling down and depressed and anxious and no energy, Doctors are telling you to exercise and you just bawl because you can't believe that you can get out and do that. Like how, how do they want you to exercise when you have no energy whatsoever? You can't even pick your head up off the couch. I am here to tell you that it is possible and you can do it. And I hate to say it, but they were right. So I hope that you are inspired by watching this video. I hope that you make a change today, whether it be your food choices, whether it be just going out for a walk, getting some kind of exercise in. I'm telling you that it will help you so much. It's just like a total transformation. So until next time, guys, I will talk to you all soon. Thank you.